After decades of meetings in the central part of the state, an economic development summit just made the move to Toledo. It's one of several conferences coming to the Glass City Center. Center. Andre Norrell joins us in the studio. Andre, these conferences bring in a lot of people to the city. Yes, they do. It's a big reason the once Seagate Center was renovated to the Glass City Center in 2022, hoping to attract more conferences, bringing more people and money to our area. And it worked for the Ohio Economic Development Association. It really is of the level of any other city in, this, in, the, in the state of Ohio. David Zack is the new president of the Ohio Economic Development Association. He says holding the annual summit in Toledo gives attendees the chance to see what other parts of Ohio have to offer. Ohio as a state is really a powerhouse and that is not centralized in one area. And that Toledo is booming, it's growing, it's doing amazing things. The entire Northwest Ohio region is doing that. Lance Woodworth with Destination Toledo says this isn't the only conference coming to Toledo. The Ohio Craft Brew Association and Glass Problems Conference are just a couple making a shift to Toledo this year. The secret's out. People know we have a great thing. These event planners are talking about it and they're booking business in Toledo, which benefits everyone in this area. Woodworth says the $60 million renovation of the now Glass City Center and the multiple hotels close to it is what's attracting these conferences. While they're in town, they're spending money and that helps our economy and it helps all of our business owners and our workers. Uh, it just helps us all. Thomas Winston is not only the Toledo Lucas County Port Authority president, but he's also on the OEDA board and advocated for the conference to be in Toledo this year. And he says having it here is a win-win. We have a record attendance, over 450 registrants for this particular summit. We have a record in sponsorship for this summit, raising over $125,000. Certainly the bar has been raised. Now I'm told it'll be a battle with Ohio's other big cities again this next year to keep a conference like this here. Keep in mind there is a performance review underway for this building and the results could lead to more improvements, giving Toledo an even better shot at hosting more big time events. Reporting in studio, Andre Knowles, WTL 11.